Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, the manager of the lowly Kansas City Royals. And we will take a look before this game that's coming up against the Rockies. We will see what the um, standings look like. They're not favorable for us, that's for sure. Let me put myself up here for the moment. Uh, as you can see, we are 34 and 57, and in last place in the AL Central Division. However, in our last 10, we are 5 and 5, so there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon for this team. We're 16 and a half games out, and uh, you can see offensively, really, again, offensively, we're we're a, we're a lot better than we used to be. In runs scored, we are third. In average, we're ninth, and in home runs, we're tenth. So that's not bad in a 30-team league. Defensively, though, uh, and pitching, that's where our problem is. ERA-wise, we're 30th. Strikeouts, we're 30th. And um, defensive efficiency, we're 28th. So, um, so there you go. That's what we're talking about with that. So uh, in that... In, in that light, we are going to talk about playing the Colorado Rockies. And uh, let's just take a quick look at them. Um, you can see they are last in the NL Western Division at 36 and 52. So they're really only a little better than we are. And so with that in mind, let's play the game. All right, these are going to be the lineups for today. Um, my lineup is going to be Gavin Cross leading off and playing right field. Then Michael Massey will be the second baseman, batting second. Bobby Witt Jr. bats third and plays third. Juan Soto in the cleanup spot and playing left field. Caden Wallace will play first base and bat fifth, followed by MJ Melendez in the sixth spot as the DH. Nick Lofton will be at shortstop. Mo Hampton Jr. is going to be the center fielder today for us. And Salvador Perez will be the catcher. For the Rockies, they're going to line up as Kay Doughty at DH. Zach Veen in right field. I don't know any of those two guys, either of those two guys. Chris Bryant will be the third hitter and play first base. Ezekiel Tovar is going to be at second, not shortstop, even though he is a gold glove caliber shortstop. Ryan McMahon will play third base and bat fifth for them. Victor Robles will play center field and bat sixth. Austin Slater is going to be the left fielder batting seventh. George Mateo will play shortstop and bat eighth, and Mike Zanino, who is no longer in baseball, is going to be the catcher. Pitching today for them will be Clark Schmidt, who is 6-4 in the year with a 395 earned run average, and pitching for us is going to be Garrett Crochet, who is 2-0 with a 251 earned run average and a 112 whip, so that, that bodes well for us. So, uh, let's get on with this. Um... I guess we can put myself right here. That looks like uh, a pretty decent place to be. And we're going to take the tour of Colorado's Park, Coors Field. Before we go down to this, the uh, field level, and that is going to be a ground out. So we have one away quickly, and Michael Massey is the batter. And with one down, looks like he's going to be out. No, maybe the lollipop throw didn't get him. It is. It's an infield single for him. Nice. Which brings up Bobby Witt Jr., who is struggling on the air, at least in comparison to how he really is. But right there he flies out to left field and, I guess, continues to struggle. We got Juan Soto up. He is hitting 252 for us, but has a 401 on base percentage and an 826 OPS, which is quite good. But he's going to ground out to shortstop right here, and we will get no runs in the first inning. 
So we're going to send out Garrett Crochet again. Very good on the year. 28 hits allowed in 43 innings and a 2-0 and record. Um, so he's going to deal to Cade Doughty. And Doughty hits it right down the line and right past Witt. Witt couldn't get that one. It, was, it just ate him up and went right past him. So that's going to be a leadoff double for the Rockies. The Rockages. And uh, that brings up Zach Veen. And Zach Veen is going to walk. So crochet off to a terrible start here with Chris Bryant at the plate. Now Chris Bryant, in real life, he has gone to hell in a handbasket. And uh, was that a triple play? No. Almost. But we did get two outs, and uh, that didn't matter because this dude hit the ball over the outfielder's head, so there's going to be a run scoring for Colorado here. Bryant does score, and so the Rockies have a one nothing lead. And uh, Ryan McMahon is the batter, and he is going to walk. Crochet is just not on top of his game today. Um, and that's going to be a pass ball. Oh, man, it's just, this is ugly. When you play a team like this, it's nearly as bad as you are, or good, but neither one of us is good. You kind of want to capitalize on that. And there is a strikeout. Crochet gets a strikeout. And he gets out of the inning, allowing only one run. I do have a relatively fresh bullpen, so that's a good sign. Cade, or, uh, Caden, yeah, Caden Wallace is going to walk in this to lead off the second inning and bring up Melendez. And Melendez is going to just hit a weak dribbler out to the pitcher, but he makes an error. Throwing air, I think, on the pitcher. So uh, we got two guys on with no outs. This is a prime situation for Nick Lofton. And Nick Loft, that is the latest swing I've ever seen in my life. Um, Mo Hampton is the batter. And Mo Hampton, I think, just went deep. He went out of here. So we've got a, a two-run lead on a three-run Mo Hampton home run. And Selvi is up. Salvador Perez, our catcher today. And he's going to get a base hit over the shortstop's head because Colorado is not playing Tovar at short. So we have Gavin Cross up, and he's going to strike out. And that brings up Michael Massey. Now, Michael Massey uh, on the year is hitting 325. So, always one of our better hitters. And in real life, he's pretty good, but he's not that good. Fly out to left, and we're out of the inning. But we did get a three spot on a Mo Hampton home run. And Crochet, come on, dude. We just need you to hold that until, you know, you, you get tired and we can get to the bullpen. Got the two-run lead here. One out, strikeout, and then Mike Zanino is the next batter. He is retired now in real life. And uh, that's the uh, the situation with some of these Rockies. In the, the previous game that we lost to the Rockies, the starting pitcher was Dylan Bundy, who is also retired in real life. But he is on the Rockies in this season, in Out of the Park. Zach Veen, the Zach Veen, is going to, well, we're going to get him easily. So we throw out the runner at second, and we didn't really care what Zach Veen did. So that means we are back at the plate with Bobby Witt Jr. at the plate. And he's going to hit a dribbler out to the pitcher, and this time he doesn't make a throwing error. So there's one down and Juan Soto up. Twelve home runs on the year for Juan. And he does walk. And, you know, I don't blame the pitcher for not wanting any part of Juan Soto. The next guy, though, strikes out. And so we have two down pretty quickly with Soto at first and Melendez, the batter. And Melendez is going to walk. 
No, he's going to strike out. I thought he might have walked there. Looked like he was faking me out going to first base. So Crochet back out to the mound. Still defending his two-run lead, and that's going to be a fly out to left. It looks like, to me, Crochet has settled down a little bit, which is also good, but that rocky first inning against the Rockies uh, might have cost him a chance to get deep into the game because, as you can see, his bar is about half burned up, and now Ezekiel Tovar is the batter with two down and nobody aboard. And that is going to be, he's going to go shopping at the gap on that one, and it'll be a double at least for Tovar. And that is exactly what it will be. So Tovar is at second with two down, and Ryan McMahon is the batter. Lefty on lefty here, and that's going to be a base hit that's going to drive in another run for the Rockies. And now they are only down by a run. Ryan McMahon with a key base hit right there. And now Garrett C Crochet is dealing. And that is going to be a fly ball to left field. And we get out of the inning, but now we only have a one-run lead that we have to defend with bad pitching and a bad defense. And Nick Lofton will be the batter. Hopefully he can lead off and get a board to set the table here, but he can't. He strikes out. And that brings up Mo Hampton, our, our surprise guy with the home run. And Mo Hampton, he gave that ball a ride there, but it's going to be a fly out to center right in front of the jackfruit sign. Anybody knows what jackfruit is, give me a, you know, drop me a line. But anyway, um, that is going to be a fly out for Selvi, and we're out of the inning. So we still have the one-run lead, but Crochet is uh, not only uh, winding down here, but this has not been one of his best games as he uh, lead, walks the leadoff batter and gives way to George Mateo. Mateo, though, strikes out. So there's one down, one on. And Zanino is the batter, and I knew he was going to steal. I knew I should have tried to do a pitch out or something. But anyway, Zanino with a fly out to left. Now, Zanino, you know, not only is he retired in real life, but there's a reason for that, and it's the reason is that he can't hit. And I'm sure the Rockies are experiencing that with him right here. But Crochet gets out of the fourth inning. That's good. He'll probably only get through the fifth, though, I'm going to guess. Gavin Cross, the right fielder for us, hits the ball right up the middle, but their shortstop, uh, Mateo, is there to make the play, and Massey is the batter. Massey is going to hit a high pop foul to the catcher and be out for the second out. Which brings up Bobby Witt Jr. And Bobby Witt Jr. Is that a home run? No, it's a fly ball. It's a deep fly ball, almost to the track, but not quite. So now you can see, yeah, Gro Crochet is like, if he gets through this inning, he'll be lucky to get through this inning. But I'm going to try to still do that because, you know, I don't want to burn up the bullpen. You know me. I say this every game. I don't like burning through the bullpen. I hate doing that. And that is going to be a ball that's going to get away from Salvi. No, it did. He, I mean, it did, but he did throw him out. I, I was, it was questionable in my mind whether he would throw him out. But that's going to be a double. A double off the wall just barely was not a home run. But, of course, Crochet right now is running on fumes, so that's understandable. But I want to get him through this inning if I can and get him the win. I'm doing this for you, Crochet. But he says, no thanks, I don't want that, and then the outfielder makes an error. I mean, he would have, the runner would have stopped at third, it looked like, except that he made an error and let the run score. So now it's 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, and he is on the last of his fumes, and that looks like a base hit. I'm still going to, you know me, I'm going to pitch him until we get out of this inning. So now we're losing 4-3.
and that is a strikeout. So he does get out of the inning, but he allows two more runs to the Rockies, and now we're losing 4-3. And I will get some uh, somebody up in the... Um, in the bullpen, um, oh man, we got some we got some interesting names out here. Um, let's go with um, Ryu. We're gonna get Ryu up in the pen, and uh, Juan Soto is up. We're only down by a run. I mean, as bad as Crochet pitched, and as bad as that inning was, because I let him keep going. We're only down by a run, and we've got uh, Soto aboard with Caden Wallace up. And Caden Wallace is going to get a short fly out to center field. Which brings up MJ Melendez, and he might have grounded into a double play. He didn't, though, because this, the uh, shortstop opted not to throw on to first base. And that's going to be a strikeout, so we're out of the inning. Still down by a run, but uh, I'm going to go get Ryu and put him in. So Ryu on the year um, is in our 2025 season, has pitched 14 innings for us and has a 129 ERA. So I like that. Maybe I should put him in the rotation. We might get a, some better results. Although, I like having him here in a situation like this where he can be long relief. He, he strikes out the first batter. And uh, that brings to the plate Mike Zanino. And Mike Zanino looks like he had a uh, line out to shortstop and there's two down. With Cade Doughty up. Cade Doughty, though, looks like he might have gone deep. Might have gone out of here, and he did. So now they got a two run lead. Not looking good. Um, Zach Veen is the batter. And he's going to hit it right out in front of the plate, and Selvi throws him out. But now we're down by two. And uh, Hampton, Mo Hampton is up. Mo Hampton! <laughs> and that's his, uh, <clears throat> by my count, that's his second home run of the game. So now we're only down by a run again. And Salvador Perez is the batter. And he strikes out. That brings up Gavin Cross. And he's going to ground out to third base. And here's Massey. 300 hitter for us. But he's going to be out. No, he isn't. He's not out. All right, nice. And that brings up Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt, though, looks like he is going to be out, and he is. So we're down by a run. We got a run on another Mo Hampton uh, homer. I don't know how many more times he can do that for us, but as many as he can, I'll take it. Going to the bottom of the seventh, and there's a strikeout for Ryu. Ezekiel Tovar is the batter, and he is going to be out. That's the second out. That was kind of a lollipop throw, but the runner wasn't very fast. And Ryan McMahon, the third baseman, is up. Again, lefty on lefty. And he'll be out. That's a quick inning for Ryu, which is nice, because I need him to eat as many innings as he possibly can. As we bring up Juan Soto. Now, Soto, again, still stuck on 12 home runs because he hasn't hit one. Mo, his, his buddy Mo Hampton has hit two. He hasn't hit one at all. Caden Wallace is up. Caden Wallace. Did he get a hold of that? He got a hold of it, and we got a tie game. 
So, like I said, the hitting for this team is exciting. This is an exciting team to watch if you like offense, because we have just tied the game at five. And if Ryu can keep pitching, and that's going to be an error on the first baseman. I saw that one coming. And that allows the uh, hitter to go to second. One out, man at second, and that's Belendez with Lofton at the plate. And Lofton is going shopping at the gap, and yes, he is. He's got at least a double, and that's exactly what he has, but we take the lead. Got a 6-5 lead now, and here's the man of the hour too sweet to be sour, Mo Hampton. But he strikes out there. And now Selvi is up. Selvi, who just refuses to retire in this game and in real life. And that's going to be a fly out to left. So, but we took the lead, and Ryu is pitching like a champ. And he has plenty of gas in the tank, so we're going to let him keep going. Oh, that's going to be an error on the shortstop. So one man on now with no outs and Austin Slater up. And Austin Slater's going to line that bad boy to center for a base hit, and there's going to be runners at first and second with no one out. And Ryu, who was pitching great, all of a sudden is, is pitching poorly. Very poorly, because that might be a home run. And it is. So we're losing again. Thank you, Ryu. Now we're down by two. It's 8-6. And now Ryu is just getting... He's getting laced all over the field. I don't know what happened. Why he just all of a sudden forgot how to pitch. And so uh, Zanino's up at second with Dottie up. And that's going to be potentially an out, and it is. But that's only the first out, and Zanino moved over to third with Brown up. And Brown is going to fly out to left, but this could be a sack fly. Let's see. That is a little rainbow throw, so that's what it's going to be. And the Rockies take a three-run lead. Nine to six. He's injured. All right, well, that's probably the best news we got all day. So um, I'm going to put in Jordan Romano. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not going to warm him up. We're going to put him in the game. All right, so let's go back to the game, and uh, hopefully we can get out of this. But, now, I mean, now we're down by three, and then we're going to need three runs in the top of the ninth. And that is going to be a double. I guess they're going to give that a double. And now there's a strikeout, and that is the end of the inning. But now we need three runs right here in the ninth. Again, we have a decent offense, but I don't know if it's that good. Gavin Cross is the batter. And he is going to just pop out to first base or a soft liner. Gavin, Lo How what is that? Hollowell is the is the pitcher. And that's a nice hit. Looks like it's going to be a hit. Yep. Yeah. And it's going to be a double. Because we know that uh, Coors Field is very cavernous. So we got a runner at second with one down. We need three runs, though. Bobby Witt Jr., he needs to pick it up here. And he really doesn't. He strikes out. And that brings up Soto. Soto, two-run home run would be nice. But no, he's going to fly out and end the game. So here comes the Rockies to celebrate. And, uh, yeah. So we'll look at the box score here. Again, our hitting wasn't bad. I mean, we had nine hits. 
and scored six runs, um, but it wasn't enough. Or wait, did we score six? Yeah, we did. But Crochet went five. He allowed eight hits and walked four and allowed four earned runs. Ryu went two and two-thirds innings, allowed four hits, but didn't walk anybody, but allowed three earned runs, and then Romano finished it up. So that's where we stand right now. We're 34 and 58. And I will finish the day, and that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.